Today we're going to talk about my favorite Chelsea boot. It's a true classic. Probably the single brand and style you think about when you think about a Chelsea boot. They come from 150 year old, 100% Tasmanian owned family company. It's the Blendstone 550s. Here at Chelsea Boot Review, we're passionate about all things boots and particularly the style versatility, the easy wearing timelessness of the Chelsea boot. And we feel like a great pair of boots ought to last you longer than the battery life on a discount pair of headphones you bought on Cyber Monday. So let's lace up, or rather slip on, and explore what makes the Blundstone 550s one of my favorite Chelsea boots. Hey, if you're new here, please subscribe. As we're trying to build this channel, our friends at YouTube will only show us a bit of love if we get some subscribers. It only takes a second, doesn't cost anything, just click that little button and it'll make the world a difference of what we can bring to this channel. So thank you. Please click. Thanks. Let's start with last things first. Who wants to watch all the way through a video before finding out whether the reviewer likes them or not? So let's pull the last things first. I love the Blundstone 550s. This pair of blunnies in antique brown have been my go-to September to April boots, that's fall until spring in my part of the world, for over three years. Sure, there are some things in the specs that could be improved, but who reads the specs when you're wearing a pair of boots? At about 175 to 200, I'd buy these without a second thought. When the price hits 225, I'd wait for a sale. Picture this, it's the 1870s in Tasmania. That's where our story begins with a visionary named John Blundstone. Armed with determination and a passion for crafting quality footwear, John laid out the foundation for what would become a global boot sensation. Through world wars, changing fashion, and cultural shifts, Blundstones have adapted, keeping toes snug and hearts warm, their iconic Elastic-sided boots became the darling of farmers, adventurers, and trendsetters alike. The Blundstone 550 are like the better-looking older brother that can easily be confused with their sibling, the Blundstone 500. The 550s are the classic product line, while the 500s are called the originals. All the durability, more comfort, more shock absorption, more places to go. The classic 550 series is a scoosh wider than the original, it's got a leather lining and a bit more cushioning. What I have here is the classic BL550. It's the 550 in dark brown leather with dark brown elastic. This old pair is the classic 550 style number BL1609. That refers to the brown leather and the black elastic gusting combo. And beyond the standard models, there are also some special editions and collabs you'll find on the market. One I think is pretty sharp looking is the BM2308 550 done with LL Bean, stout brown with the red buffalo check. Let's talk about the fit and finish. I think the fit and finish of the 550 is stellar, but a bit surprisingly, they're not made with the highest end leather you might expect. Most top-notch boots, wallets, and belts are made with full grain leather. Full grain is the top layer of the hide and includes all of the grain, hence full grain. Full grain leather retains some of the natural texture of the animal skin and is the strongest and most durable part of the hide. Blundstone 550s are actually made from a lower grade leather. They call it premium. Other places you'll see it called genuine leather. And with that, you could probably interpret it to mean, well, at least it's genuine leather. It isn't the top end, but it's still a pretty good leather. One thing you appreciate and you can see at the top here is that they're tanned all the way through. That color goes from the outside all the way in. What that means is that if you get a light scratch on the boot, it's not gonna show through. Other boots might be just tanned on the outside, which means a scratch gets to the lighter part. That's what you'll find in the 500s. The 550s, though, have the color throughout. My 550s have held up incredibly well for three years. They're still water-resistant and repellent after just some leather moisturizing on occasion. 
The soul of the 550s is made up of TPU, and I'm a fan. TPU stands for thermoplastic urethane. It's lightweight, it can withstand temperatures up to 130 Celsius, which is 266 Fahrenheit. It's breathable and flexible, and highly resistant to oils and chemicals. It's unlikely to crack, or split, and it'll last a very long time. Admittedly, the buy it for life crowd rightly points out that it's incredibly hard to resole these boots. It isn't a Goodyear welt or Blake's ditch that could be removed and then replaced. These soles are cemented on. One thing you'll hear a lot about in TPU is hygroscopicity. Did I say that right? Let me know in the comments. What that basically means is the microscopic air bubbles that give these boots their cushiony feel can absorb moisture if left in a very warm, very humid place for a very long period of time, probably years. And it's got to be hot, over 100 degrees with 90% humidity. If that happens and they're left to sit, the TPU can break down and become powdery. By simply wearing your boots, you're basically pushing all the humidity out of those cells. A regularly worn boot will last longer than one that's put away in very humid storage. This is one of those problems that's kind of like Bigfoot. There's lots of online discussion, but very little proof that it's a real concern. TPU is incredibly durable. It's comfortable from day one. Let's take a look at the insides. The 550s have a steel shank that keeps the boot from being too flexible. Yeah, there is such a thing. It also increases the overall durability and longevity of the boot by reinforcing the footbed. What a steel shank basically does is it, it acts as a bridge between the height of the heel and the ball of the foot, right along the middle. The TPU soles provide a lot of flexibility and cushion but it's the steel shank that keeps the boot from unnatural twists and torque, providing a more stable platform for the foot. The 550s, unlike the 500s, have a leather lining in the ankle shaft to provide more structure and warmth within the boot. It comes down to about here, and then it's fabric in the toe box, the vamp area. This gives plenty of structure and breathability. Like any good boot or shoe, the 550 has a removable footbed or insole, the boots actually come with two sets of inserts, so you can either stack them or customize them by wearing one or the other. Or you can use your own orthotic or insert that's customized to your foot. Because they're removable, you've got lots of options. To be honest, this is one of my least favorite parts of these boots. They come with two sets, but I'd rather have them invest in one good pair than send two that really won't last that long. One other cool thing about the inserts is, in the winter, with a nod to the $3.1 billion sheep exports that come from Australia, Blundstone offers a sheepskin lined EVA arch support base that you could slip right into the 550s to keep your toes toasty warm. Speaking of Australia, the pull tab proudly announces Blundstone's 100% Tasmanian heritage. But they're not made there. They make boots in Thailand, Vietnam, India, China, and Mexico. Different than most companies, though, Blundstone actually uses their own employees in the country versus outsourcing the labor. I think that's worth something. One thing you don't hear a lot of people talking about in their reviews of the Chelsea boot is the elastic gusset. You want something that's flexible enough to make your boots easy to get on and off, but still tough enough to provide the structure to fit snugly. Flexible enough that it's not choking your ankle, but stiff enough that it remains durable. A few years in, these are easy to get on and off. A new pair might be a little bit harder, but after you wear them a couple of times, it'll start to break in. Most of the people who've had problems with them, honestly, it's because they had a run in with their dog. If you do have a problem with the gusseting wearing out, many local cobblers or online stores will be able to replace it for about 50 bucks. Blendstone even sells the material. For most folks, the Blendstones fit true to size. They get better with a bit of a break in period. Over time, the boots will stretch and mold and they'll be customized to your feet. Remember though, any stretches around the foot or the instep, they're never going to get any longer. So make sure that you have enough room in your toe to leave about a good quarter of an inch of space between the tip of your toe and the front of the boot. Your boots will come with the two sets of foot pads so you can swap them out if you need to adjust the height. If you're in the States and you order from Blundstone, it automatically converts to US sizes. 
Some other sites might require you to convert from Australian UK sizes to US sizes. I'll include a link to the Blundstone size chart below so you can make sure you get your size no matter what part of the world you live. In terms of price, the 550s are pretty consistent. I usually see them with a list price of 229 but rarely on sale for that amount. Often they're in the range of about 195 sometimes dipping as low as 175 195 is a pretty common sale price, and you should feel great if you score it. If you keep your eye out, some colorways might come up at 160 or so, but that's once in a while. So finding the price might be a long wait. The pricing has been pretty flat over the years. I bought this pair of 550s three years ago for 209 550s are comfortable, durable, perfect for knocking around town. They look good sipping on a juicy IPA by the fire or during a long day on your feet. Jeans, chinos, or your work pants. If you are looking for a great pair of Chelsea boots though, highly recommend the Blendstone 550s. Hey, if you want to support the channel, I've included a bunch of links in the description below. When you click to buy, I get a small commission, but don't worry, it doesn't cost you a penny. Don't forget to subscribe and click like. It's a great way to support the channel as well.